OK, so let's have a look at what we can change in the settings menu, which is on the main screen. We just tap on this orange button here called settings. And there's a number of things you can change here. General settings, AED and advanced settings. If you look at general settings, the main things you can change are the colours of the actual waveforms that are seen. So by just tapping on one of these boxes here, you can change the colour that you want to display the waveform in, and that obviously would be depending on your local use. And you can see it's changed there. If you press the revert to default values, it goes back to the original green. You can also change the end tidal CO2 and temperature measurement parameters. And you have some other options down here, such as quick start scenario. You might want to change it to your own quick start scenario. The use of Bluetooth to connect iPads, which we usually would recommend as a last ditch attempt. We always recommend Wi-Fi. Enables you to log every single scenario instantly. And whether you have video playback as auto, play on share, or manual, we would usually recommend play on share. The AED settings are very extensive, and we'll cover those later. And then there's advanced settings, which allows you to share the student screen with other simulation recording software. So that's a quick tour of what you can do in the settings menu.